Alright, so uh, I have a new tutorial. It's going to be making kind of a, a stab, kind of a, a bass stab noise kind of thing. And uh, it's something I kind of came up with uh, while messing around. So this is what it would sound like. So to make that, first we want to add a 3x oscillator. So um, you'll uh, do this, drag this one all the way up, uh, right click on C7, so this is what it should sound like. Then what we're going to do is the, the reason it sounds like it does, instead. so this is what it sounds like normal, and this is what it, we're trying to get. So you go to the cutoff, uh, you drag the attack all the way, everything pretty much all the, everything all the way down, and then drag the decay just a little bit up. Uh, drag the amount all the way to the right and then the mod X to the left so see now you can kind of hear that so then you want to go to the tension and drag the decay just a little bit and it'll kind of curve it a little bit and so that's that sounds a little too fast so we'll change the decay a little bit more just like that and then uh, the volume will basically just duplicate what we just did and then just turn the tension down a little bit. Now, to make it sound a little more full, we're going to have to add it to a mixer track. So what I just did there, instead of clicking, you can actually just click over here and then press Control L or click right here and sign free mixer track and it'll just give you the free, uh, the near, the closest free one. So I'll just name that. So add a Maximus. Uh, and a sound goodizer, and then actually turn that down just a little bit. So, what we get with that is so. Um, we can just copy this and paste it right there. I wonder what the other one sounds like compared to it. That one sounds a little better actually. Um, why does it sound so much different? This one seems to be a little too long. Hang on. Maybe it wasn't too long. So we'll drag the decay a little bit. There we go. Now it should sound about right. There we go. Um, so, uh, we can try and add an effect to that, like say a simple delay. So we'll add a uh, delay to... Um, that's what it would sound like normal. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to make the, the initial echo a lot lower. So if we turn the input volume down that'll make the echoes a little quieter and I still want it to echo a lot but I want it to not drown out the rest of the thing so we can do that and then on the time it sounds pretty good as it is but you can set it to like well first I'm going to copy that just in case I don't want what I change it to so here's one step so it's pretty quick uh, two steps Four steps will go to the drum beat. Three steps. That'll hit every time the kick happens. Alright, so let's just put it back to where it was. That sounds alright. Uh, we'll turn the cutoff down a little bit. Change it to ping pong. Could add reverb. I don't really use reverb very much because I, I don't really, I don't really have anything that I've never really had it made anything sound good. I'm just not very good at using reverb. We might as well try it though.
sounds pretty good. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, maybe you just watched me successfully use reverb. I don't know. So that's how you make that little bass stab noise. I've used it in a couple of my songs. And uh, there you have it.